Hi guys, it's Cosmo Clo here and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup look for you inspired by Valentine's Day and I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette. I received this palette in the post literally just today and I've been meaning to get it for so long but it's always sold out here in the UK so I literally grabbed my hands on it as quick as I could and I decided to do this makeup look. It was inspired by Valentine's Day which is obviously coming up, it's just around the corner so I hope you guys have a magic Valentine's Day and it's filled with love. If you're new here remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. So let's jump on with this makeup look. First we're going to use the colour Burnt Orange and we're going to use a Morphe 441 brush and it's going to go as my transition colour. So as you can see I'm just blending that all in and blend until you're happy with it which I'm never happy with my blending but you just got to keep going. Using the same brush, I'm going to go in with Real Gar. I believe that's what it's called, but we're going to go with it because no, we're keeping it real. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? So Real Gar is going to go over the top of that. On the corner, we're using this colour Red Orchid with a Morphe 433 brush. And it's just going to go on like the outer V, kind of bring it into the centre, but not too much. And we're just patting that on, kind of brushing it on, just making it go all smooth. And then we go back in with our 441 brush and blend that all in, which is the same brush we were using at the beginning, guys. Then using the 433, we're going in with Love Letter, and that is going in the center. Into the center and kind of bringing it outwards, and this is more of a pinky shade, so it'll be a nice little transition between both colors. A bit like an ombre. And then this is where we conceal, like, I struggle with this, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It can be really hard, and I just said, I do struggle with it. So we're just gonna carve out the inner corner, not the whole way, just like towards the center, not dead in the center, but just a little bit out. And we're gonna carve that all out. And then when we've done this, we're actually gonna set it. So, as you can see, I'm carving it out, and then here we go, I'm gonna set it with tempera. I think that's what that's called. We're gonna, again, roll with that. So we're just going to set that down. We're going to go back in with the colour Love Letter and just blend that all out nicely so it kind of flows all together as one. And then using this diddy diddy little pencil brush we're going to go in with Venetian Red and we're just carving that out to kind of create a more dense cut crease. Hopefully you see where I'm going with this. Then we're going to go underneath the eyes with an E18 brush and using the Red Aura, Orchid, not sure what this is called, and then Venetian Red again. Just to kind of flow that, and the E18 is so good for underneath the eye, it just fits perfectly. And then going in with a little ditty uh, flat brush, we're going with the colour Cypress Umber. That's a fun word to say, Umber. And just carving out that waterline. Eyeliner is the bane of my life, so good luck watching this because I actually have no words to say apart from I have so many pictures of eyeliner goals on my phone and I just find them so hard to achieve because I don't know if it's my eye, my eyes, my steady hand, my not so steady hand, my eye shape, I don't know what it is but it's really hard to do and then here we go with the bronzer, Hula bronzer is the best guys, please invest in it if you haven't already, I'm just doing a light bronze look, nothing too harsh. This L'Oreal True Match Highlighter in the colour Rose is the bomb, literally. It's so shiny and pretty, so feminine, I just love it. Then this colour here, Vermeer, I think that's what that one's called as well, Vermeer, with this little Diddy pencil brush from Morphe, just in the inner corner to highlight. It really opens up your eyes and brightens them, so I definitely love those. And these two colours here are from NYX, they are soft matte creams. The first one is called Ibiza and this is the colour I'm applying on my lips right now. So that is going to be my outer lip colour. So we're going to do an ombre effect if you haven't kind of gathered that. So it's going to be on my outer like corners on both top and bottom. And then in the centre we're going to use the colour Cans. So in the centre we're leaving it blank, we're not putting any lip colour there yet with the Ibiza and then Cans is going to go on the top just like so and it's going to blend out like an ombre which is what we're going for in this video. 
These lashes here are Demi Wispies and they are so lovely. I love them. I wear them all the time. However, I want to try more lashes. So drop me a comment below of your favourite lashes so I can invest in some new ones. And yes, I'm using my hand because we're ghetto. And voila, look at that. Looking all saucy and hot, ready for V-Day with my tub of ice cream, you know, Ben and Jerry's, they're my Valentine's date this month. You know it. So that is my makeup look inspired by Valentine's Day using the Modern Renaissance palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the big thumbs up because I'm always happy to get some thumbs up. Catch you in my next one. Bye.